Welcome back, everybody. How are you guys? I hope you're having a great day, evening, or night, whenever you're watching this reading. Oh, yes, guys. <laughs> Almost Monday. Back to the work week, right? I hope you guys had a great weekend as well. Back to the back to the back to the work week, right? <clears throat> So I do have your messages for today. I have take on as above and so below. I have take and stop along with oops, somebody else want to come out as <laughs> any. And I guess we have a set third one bonus today. Oh, and May. So we had old in May yesterday or the day before, but they want you to tell me it might be old. It may, it may not. Maybe something you might be just hearing about or something you just might be getting, you know what I mean? The the memo on, okay? I mean, that's what it's talking about in the energy, okay? I got the, defo the f distorted feminine here. Distorted feminine in the energy. Okay. I had of abundance in the energy. I have the divine masculine in the energy today. I have your manifestations in the energy today. I have soulmates in your energy today. In reverse, I have the garden. In the garden. And in the garden, there were trees. And they had apples. And they said, don't eat from these trees. But you can have any of these other trees over here. The Garden of Eden. Okay. Now, Garden of Eden might not mean nothing to you. You might not even follow whatever, whatever, whatever it may say, okay? But, and this energy is talking about a promise, okay? It's about a mature promise, somebody else's promise. Hold on one second. My oven has decided it has retired for the night. So it was letting me know on automatic shut off. He catch me later. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. So take and stop. Ask any many goals. Many go, many goals. Okay. Talk about it here. Shall my ancient wisdom, ancient, we have also smoke and mirrors. The meadows, vulnerability. Focus, because something here is crystal clear to see. Vigilant. Commune, somebody might commune with you from the other side, downloads and epiphanies, and somebody might even be awakening to something in this energy. Um, effortless, and it might come to them effortless, it might come to you effortless, and the energy might come to you quick. You might be manifesting very quick in this energy as well, um, under the waterfall. Stop in there. Let's talk about the distorted feminine here. That's her life purpose. Whose abundance are we talking about today? Whose abundance under the feminine, the masculine, and karma related energies in the collective? Strength for the abundance. The masculine energy, please. The masculine energy, man, feminine or, or female or masculine. Binary in the energy. Talent. This manifestation is going to take talent. It's going to take your focus. It's going to take your communing with the spirits. It's going to take removing naysayers and doubters. 
out of your energy. This talks about your career under these soulmates. So you do somebody might make this as a job, looking for passion in life, or through lovers, they might look at this as a job. Um, and it's energy like, you know, it's like I have to have a man, you know, I'm successful, I drive a nice car, and you know, I deserve to have, you know, a fine man to go with it. But you gotta remember that. That man you're looking for has to want that desire. Same desire you want. Okay. And you two have to cross paths in in that energy. Okay. Y'all have to have some type of vibration where you die, where, you know, when women want to meet a basketball player or want to, you know, have that type of job or lifestyle, you put yourself in the path of that person place or thing of your desire right okay that's how i usually go take and stop so you take an evaluation of the circumstance you you know analyze it um with the analytics to it to um manifest you know your dream job or your dream house or your dream partner or Whatever your goal or success is, okay? May it be riches, may it be wealth, may it be treasures, may it be land. May it be man, okay? Woman or man, okay? In the energy, okay? So this is effortless. Something that you're doing effortless. Something that comes effortless. Also, with the help of the divine, it helps with source and energy, okay? So, we got the divine, the distorted feminine, looking for purpose. We have abundance in our strength. We have the masculine with blessings. Now, what blessings is he blocking your blessings? Pouring into your life with blessings. Blessings of protection. Blessings of providing security. Nurturing. A listening ear. Or is he there just to take from you? Take from your kids? From your lifestyle? From your job? From your goals and purposes? I see the, the, the distorted feminine don't see her purposes. So it, that's maybe why they put it there. Okay. But he know that his divine feminine comes with purpose. She comes with a purpose. She comes to teach him a lesson. She te comes to, you know, join in that union that they were supposed to, you know, have. But he got blinded somewhere in the journey. But it's not for you to wait for them. It's for them to catch up. So if he ever catch up, then maybe. But if he never catches up, then oh well. You know what I mean? We're not going back. Okay? We're not going back. This ain't a school trip. I mean, it is a trip when we come here because we, you know, travel in the galaxies and travel in different places. But I always tell y'all to stay yourselves. <laughs> you know, stay with the group because, you know, in that, it, it, even when I told you on ha Halloween, like, these are zombies we're dealing with. We don't want to get out here, okay? We can't land here, okay? So, if we're not with like-minded folks, it's like being in a land where we don't fit in or belongs in a group where we're not wanted. So, like, if you remember when you had the jocks, the varsity, the, you know, the geeks and the nerds, and then you had the... um prep kids and you had the um glee club and you had the you know futures business leaders of america group and you had your you know fbla group and you know the you know picture group and the you know honor society and we had a, you know so many different groups you know that you needed to fit in or carry a title to be in um type of thing okay so the masculine knows what his, 
divine feminine carries. His her she he knows what she brings. May he act like it or not, he knows. Okay, unawakened or awakened, men have a, a all a compass inside of them to t tell them hunters and gatherers from their carbon copy of DNA, from their you know roots and lineage. Okay, from their tribes. Not talking about their groups that they hang with to be validated by their friends. Not that group. But their lineage, their, you know, uh, ancestral DNA. Their, that's why the shamans came out with the ancient wisdom. So that's what they're talking about here in the energy, okay? So, um, yeah, so they're talking about his, you know, blessings. So is he black blocking your blessings, blocking somebody else's blessings, coming to steal ideas and creativity and take it somewhere that he can't do nothing with um, because he's not using it for that. He's using it for negative, okay? He's not, if this is not an awakened masculine talking okay because it told me that the feminine is already distorted she don't see her purpose right here this got the, her purpose written on it and it says that the manifestation is coming under talents what kind of talents do you have and what are you using as your talents what talents are you um possessing at this present time that um that is manifesting your sowing your reaping how are you um commit um contributing to humanitarian are you co uh contributing to advice or you know helping in some way in the in the in the, in the uh communities okay yeah i consider this helping in the communities because it helps a lot of people you know on the journey where where you you know come in and you like i don't know i just got out of a relationship with a narcissist and i don't know which way my head is going and i don't know which way is up and i don't know which way is down but i know i want to get out of where i was you know and you're looking for a path well you know you are on the right path you've met light in the road there is light here so you know manifestations and talents can be you know obtain here okay where at where you are today here starting here you know they have a route 66 it goes from you know california to chicago or illinois uh, chicago so you know that's a long way but two twenty five hundred 2500 miles you know um and it takes you about five days or four days there um to travel that road you know and along the way what will you see what will the experience be for you? Okay, on Route 66, long travel road. The longest travel road, really. You know, California to Chicago. So, yeah, that's where our talents come. How much talent do you put in yourself? How much a talent do you allow yourself to um, absorb? <laughs> do you limit your talents? And do you... Um, uh, but when you have, when you're looking for a soulmate, um, you're looking for them like a job. You're looking like you're signing up for a resume. Oh, I'm qualified for the job. I know how to twerk it. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. Um, but <laughs> those requirements are not necessary here at this job. Okay, for for somebody. Okay, when it comes to a distorted feminine, those cooking and cleaning and you know, knowledge and wisdom and vision don't come with this this particular um, distorted feminine. You know, um, abundance is is in her in her uh, grow in her growth, but. Um, through a masculine, though, through a masculine energy. Um, her manifestation um, is through soulmate after soulmate or twin, or it's twin flame. Is, you know, it's a very unique uh, type of relationship. But the soulmates, you can have one time and time again, time and time again. I was a, or lovers. You could call them lovers, soulmates, you know, encounters, whatever, you know title you would like to you know put on it or label or you know you know like nowadays everybody has to go buy a label okay i'm this and i'm that and i'm the stud muffin of this and i'm the blah 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 of that no okay okay just you know we're here okay basically we're here we've somehow shape shift to be earthlings 
Okay, we've shape shift to be earthlings. You know, I've gotten a little bit more into that deck, but I'm not ready to uh come back uh yet. You know, because every time I check, I look at that deck, it always puts me in the mind of Mor Rick and Morty. You know, one is the experiment and the other one is the scientist. They go by the scientific uh, thing. So he will tell him, you know, I did a DNA clone while you were asleep. Swabbed your mouth, did this, this, that. So, you know, like when I when I take a look at this deck. And I don't want to base it off that because, you know, it's kind of on the quirk. It's kind of on the sarcastic. And it's kind of on the reality, too. But, you know, I got to, you know, more dissect that situation a little bit more. Um, so we can come with facts. I told you I work on facts when it comes to, you know, when, I'm, when I put out something. I want the facts on it. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's keep it pushing, y'all. This this is really intriguing me today because I got a confused feminine here. Looking for a helping hand. She's pretty kind when it comes to what she wants. And she thinks she comes in with a positive attitude. Okay? They, well, that's what they want me to know. But she got a silly thinking. <laughs> silly kid. Tricks are for rabbits. Tricks are for kids, right? Right? That's what he's talking about. About your purpose. About a masculine. She likes the kind that's positive and kind and helpful. <laughs> and then the ones that she can easily confuse. Okay? That is what it's talking about. This might be your masculine, okay? And I, when I say you are a divine feminine, you might have your house, your home together divine feminine okay got a nice job got your husband work got a boyfriend whatever he is your house is running smooth okay but we got some very um distorted feminine as they're calling it without with lack thereof per purpose okay and a ulterior motive is to um do this mess up what you have and i want to be that one to tell you you know you don't have to be that one. You, as long as you have, when you know your man has changed from what he used to do to doing something else, it's almost about far too gone. It's about just about far too gone, just to let you know that, okay? If you're getting the signs and you're starting to get to the gut intuition, you already know. You already know. If you got to question yourself twice, young lady bought this man a brand new, um, what it was it? A brand new Audi Q8 on Instagram yesterday, right? And she said it was for good sex. Now, if men is out here getting almost a 90 2021 vehicle, okay, just for having good sex, girl, we better check. We gotta check our jobs, okay? We gotta check our our stuff. Uh, you know, I, I mean, no, no, no. Listen, no. Nothing against whatever she did. That's how she show her love to whoever he is. You better be hope like hell. He don't have no other girl riding around in that car. He better, you better hope that he got that kind of same kind of respect for you when it come back, okay? You better know what you're getting yourself into when you buy a guy something that's a chick magnet. I'm going to just say it like that. A chick magnet. Okay? You know. Men is out here buying too, ladies. Don't get it twisted. Men is out here buying too. But women will go to any length to secure the bag with a man. Okay? And if it takes him to... You know, show off in the car, show boat in it. Yeah, he might got a job and he might not be that type. But it just might be that one girl that he really had in the back of his mind. That when he got his money right, he had his car right, and he had his place to stay right. He was going to go back and check that girl out. So don't all never underestimate. Because some men are very cunning. 
very master manipulators that, you know, you won't see through the mask. Like, they are so smooth. They are so fine. They look so good. They smell divine. Girl, okay? Kente oil ain't never smelled better, okay? <laughs> okay? Kente oil ain't never smelled better. Okay? So now, listen, girl. And guys, or I got 100% women in my group. Uh, so, this is for you, girls. This is for you. I don't share my secrets with a lot of people. But today, I feel like I, I got to come out of a bag for y'all today. Because this tells me, you know, this is back when the 90s was out. And every girl, every woman wanted a statuous man, like. Even if he was a drug dealer, if he had ten, five, six houses, that was on top for a person working in the street. Okay, that was like gang, gang, like gang, 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 gang. Like y'all say, gang, gang, sir, gang, gang, gang. Like you know, gang, gang. That was like to have it all. Um, if a guy came and he picked you up, like in whatever car, that meant you was top, top, top. Like. They don't pick a real ride around no fuglies or whatever they used to call them in the day. You know, they they if they look good back in the day, if they look good, you look good. It wasn't never no oh, I ain't buying you this so you could look good for that dude. Nope. It never was none of that. So when dating changed, I think that's when I changed. <laughs> like I really changed because the kind of type of guys I look for, like I like guys that like to you know, help. If you want to have a fine a foundation, you come with your with your with your offer. Like this is what I do. This is what I am. You know, uh, I, this is what I bring to the table, and this is what I could do for you. Okay, no more, no less. You know what I mean. And if I can do more, but this is what I can do right now. You like cut and dry. I don't need the bull. So if you see another girl, then why you calling me? Why you give me this whole song and a dance or whatever the case may be, right? A lot of women take lip. I, I call it taking lip, but I don't take lip because at the same time, you blocking your man. That's talent. It's taking this, just like this person here and this energy. It takes talent for a person to have gift for gab, to be able to be sarcastic, have a comeback every time to, you know what I mean? This is a whole finesse type of thing that these people do. Like y'all missing a bigger point that I'm trying to get to you. The finesse of a thing, of a relationship. Like people will really go to no end to finesse you in a relationship. Like distorted feminines with no purpose. Like, and you may say, well, I don't really have a purpose because I'm really not doing nothing right now. I'm not in school. I'm not, you know, really at the job I want to be at. But I'm talking about a person like their ulterior motive is to see you with your man, see, follow your man, like find out, like Google your man, follow him, call, take his license plates down, like, like do like detective work on your man so that they can be in his path so that they could see if they could be somebody that he would talk to. Like women are scandalous. They savages when it comes to a man. They didn't told him that it was a shortest of men. And when it comes down to it, you know, I keep telling you, it's not about that. He might sleep with you, but that's it. Like, it's nothing. Yeah, he might have lost what he had at home because he chose to make the choice to sleep with that person. But ulterior, ultim, ultimate, at the end of the day, the ultimate pro thing is going to be not having you. If you meant that much to them. You get me what I mean? When you lose a good thing, it's not just like, like say you lose the dial, a two-carat diamond earring. Okay, you lose it in the sea. Okay, a two carat diamond ring, I mean, earring or whatever, you're gonna value like, oh my god, I gotta find this ring, this earring, if it's the last thing I do. Like, that's a carat earring or whatever. Not to say that I would wear a carat earring 
in the water, but I just might. My, I might be drinking and partying and forget. I've lost very nice pairs of earrings, you know, just going on the day to day. Who got hooked on my coat, got hooked on my jacket and lost it. And, you know, somebody might have lost their earring. And that's probably why it's coming to me. Somebody might have lost their earring and this energy. But you, uh, I don't know. Maybe he'll buy you another one. But you got a rich man. And you're doing your well-being right now. It's on your well-being. You got you got a lot of other priorities right now. You got other priorities right now on this manifestation. Let's talk about it here, y'all. I want to see what's going on. They're giving me a lot of rundown for, for like, Oh, oh, like I'm giving a like, uh, uh, like drill team. Like we about to do the marching band, or like we about to do like get out here, girls, and like I'm coaching y'all to do like in a dance. You know, what was them girls that came on? They used to be them. I can't think right now, y'all. I don't went to a blank. Judgment, son. Queen of Pentacles, somebody with money. So he sell, okay, bet. Some, come to the manifestation. Talent, Knight of Cups, and a soulmate. Not so we put tarot on it, do it really come with the picture, the full picture. That's until you put tarot on it. All right, two worlds in this energy. Somebody from two different worlds. It's a different world. Mm -hmm. From where you come from. Right. And that's why I said, so when I was talking about all those different worlds in the 90s, when I grew up and when, you know, when different times was different. OK, when times was different. OK, that's why they keep bringing me back here. Like. This might be an older girl. I consider myself older, but at the same time, I ain't no spring chicken. OK, and I, I know a thing about a thing about it, too, about something. OK. I keep quiet because it's sold and not told. That's what they told me. Okay, somebody might isolate themselves out with the island here. Island girls. This might be some girls from the island. Tobago, Caribbean. Might be even from our um our motherlands and stuff. Island girls. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm hmm Something's gonna illuminate under this abundance here though. Something illuminate the strength. Something's gonna make because I don't know why they so weak. Why they so weak that they need so much strength here under the um abundance. Okay, so that's poverty there. That ain't their abundance. They ain't really got nothing. Okay, so faking it till you make it. That's that. Faking it till you make it. This is holding on. This queen of pentacles here is um with the divine with this divine masculine so it's his divine feminine here with me with this queen of pentacles now even though she says she's the queen of pentacles and this is her blessings like i told you he could be blocking it but he also want her to help him too or she want him to help her because this is about the, the feminine like i said some of these messages will come in backwards in and all backwards some of them will come upside down like where they come the emergency then they'll come with this and then they'll come with something else okay so it's like sometimes they come in reverse there's no way how they come they just might tell me in a in a in a in a, a long drawn out way sometime okay so this is talking about the queen of pentacles this is talking about her 20 eight i can't you see him 28 50 all right so let's talk about it y'all under the manifestation Okay, under the talents, this is the masculine that wants to manifest under her energy. Like I said, that was the channel message. I that I channeled that, and then the Ten of Pentacles at the end with the soulmate. They want that happy union. They want that happy um, life. You know, happy with money and stability. Okay, I got you there. But what's 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 the clarification of the judgment though? Why why she won't do it? Because it's only they're not in a relationship. Okay, under the Ace of Wands, it's just passion. Just sex. That's why she can't get nobody because it's just sex. They only take her for something sex related. Yeah, seven of wands. Then they block her out. <laughs> they put her in a bubble and block her out. All right, Divine Masculine, what's what's going on with this feminine here? The Queen of Pentacles. 
You say it was a tower moment between him and her. What's about the manifestation under the blessings and under the Knight of Cups? About his emotions being confused. It's a star about a hope and a wish that things didn't have, turn out the way they did. What about these new soulmates? He want to get back with you, Divine Feminine. He said he leaped into love. It was a, He said it was, you know, he leaped in love with a woman that didn't serve him in his energy. And he thankful, you know, that, you know, things that he, you exaggerate. They say he lied. <laughs> they say he lied. Three of Cups. Yeah, he said he's still, they saying he's still in the third party. He said that he lied. He dropped into us and yeah, he's still in a union with the person. Page of Wands, very little, lot of little, very little passion there. Very little passion there. Okay, that's about his well being. That was about his well being there. That's how he's feeling right now under well being. Under the soulmates right now. The one that told him he was going to be their soulmate when they got together. Maybe she even told them that they was, you know, to, meant to be together. Seven of Wands, son. It is what it is. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is right now. Okay? Birds of a feather. Birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> right? Absolutely. That's the garden, though. When they tell you don't eat from one garden and only eat from this garden, you know, whatever poison you get is what you get. Okay? This is the earth's magic. Whatever, wherever you, number one, wherever you step and put your magic at, thought it was going to serve you. And somebody might be putting spells and magic on you. This is a tender embrace. Come with a tender touch. Memories of the past. I don't know if you guys can see that. And seeing it in a higher view. Your higher self. You got to see it in a higher dimension. The oracle's gift. You got to, uh, and you see, and, and they study giving you smoke and mirrors, though. They study giving you smoke and mirrors. Here, this distorted feminine, she's giving you smoke and mirrors, or he, he or she. One, a masculine could be in his feminine, and a feminine could be in her masculine. So it could be vice versa under these feminines. This Queen of Pentacles could be a masculine or a feminine. Okay. Then the passion coming in could be either or. And they're hoping and a wish that this and the other, like, this person could help you out. That person could be helpful to you. Told you. They're going to come. They like people that's positive. Man, you know, they ain't got that negative, mean exterior to them. Kind. Helpful. I mean, you'll help them give them some money if they put their hand out like that. You'll give them some. Okay. And you could get they easily, you can even think you or them could be easily confused. Okay. <laughs> okay, what are they doing over here in these smoking mirrors? What are they doing under the smoking mirrors? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands was blocking you out, out the bubble here. But that's the magic of the lizard there. That's the magic of the lizard. Let's see. What the magic of the lizards talking about? Say magic of the lizard. Whispering the magic of the lizard. And then we have lizards the other day with those lot lizards. Okay, so this is that reptilian energy, okay? That shape shifting energy. Okay, I can shape into what you think what you what I think you want me to be. I could be all you want me to be, and I don't gotta be in the army. Okay? So this is that um doubts and suspicion dissolved in the sunlight where the sun came right over top of it okay illuminated clarity illuminating illuminates feelings and situations so i'm feeling some type of way but i know that this is all we got here whispering i'm a shapeshifter okay i'm a shapeshifter Talk about it under the tower, under the queen. Of, so the masculine and the uh, princess, I mean the queen of uh, pentacles. Talk about it there. Mm -hmm. The emperor. The emperor clarifies itself. He's tired of this. Seven of 
Six of Wands. And strength. Oh, he need to strength to tame a beast. Okay. He still need to strength to tame a beast. Okay. A lioness. You might be a fire sign. You might be a Leo in this energy. Okay. You even might be a Taurus. You might be a little stubborn Taurus energy. You might even be a Sagittarius in this energy as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of women here, though. Under these kind of helpful, he helped a lot of women, though. Not only are you trying to tame this person or this person you trying to tame, he trying to tame you. But at the end of the day, they're gonna be back to back with you. Seven of Swords. That Seven of Swords is sneaking behind your back with the stallion out in the in the pastures out the window. It's going to be, you ain't going to like this. Yeah, no. Five of Wands. It's a, a lot of competition here on the Birds of a Feather. Number 25 is uh, seven here. Yes, yeah, this, is, this is not going in well. This is a material game here. You, This masculine is definitely, he goes after women. Okay, so he goes after sex with these women. You go after sex with those men and romance and positive you know, so you could get something out of, so you go on the nice side, so you could get, so you can, you know, hustle. Okay, I got you, but you, but you said you blocking out, you know, love right now for your abundance. You, you rather God take care of you in this way. Okay, manifestations of a man and a star, hoping that a man can make me his star. Meaning, you know, man, how many stars is in the galaxies? Billions, right? So you just one in a billion in this or one in a million star in it, you know, for him. One in a million. James Lobster. Chance. They ain't say you was. He said he could show compassion, but say to me. A stroke of love. A stroke of love for you. That's just, I'll be stroking. Yeah, nah, he, that's only, they ain't told me nothing yet. I ain't getting nothing out of that yet. Now, we was going to be, how I was going to go down the road and, well, on the road again. And it ain't going to be that. We That means we still following the same trends. Take, stop, maybe, old. So we might be old and following old patterns and old cycles and old paradigms and old, you know, thinking, stinking thinking that is. Along with ask any, I don't ask no, I don't, don't ask, don't tell type energy. You don't ask if I'm like men, then I ain't going to tell you I like men. You know what I mean? I, if you, yeah, you, you don't know what I like. I ain't going to tell you what I like. Then if you don't do it, then I'll go get it from somebody else type energy. Okay. Well, being. I take care of my own well-being. I ride off like a stallion in the night with whatever one come my way. Swinging from this one, Tarzan, and, and Jane, or Adam and Eve. Because he had Lilla, so that was a third party right there. So, you know, they even started there with third parties. So we, we, we definitely didn't think we was going to be obsolete from that, did we? <laughs> then we got the Nine of Pentacles. Cutting a lock of your hair for control here. Okay, cutting your lock of your hair off. Lost in space. Under the sun. Silly and positive. Silly fool. Silly silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Higher view. She's going to her higher self. Many masks. Under the night, um, other manifestations that's many masks. You're gonna have to go through a lot of layers of whoever this is a woman or a man, or a man or a woman. You're gonna have to go through a lot of masks that this person wears in order to see the true veil through them because they're gonna they somebody likes to keep them confused. 
and they do this a lot, y'all. And it, it's 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 so it's like tacky though. Like it's very very tacky. Though the energy and vibe I'm getting right now, it's kind of like tacky and vibe, like a tacky vibe. Very tasteless, tastelessly done, tactless done. It might even be somebody that you see every day. Okay, it's very tactless. It's with a person that you've seen before. Might even be the person at the grocery store where you buy your coffee at in the morning. Just that tactless. It is what it is. What's what what is what it is? What is what it is? What? Lost needing direction. Why they lost? Why they lost and what is what it is? I'm in the higher view. They said page of cups. Birds of a feather. Three of pentacles. Third party situation. Three of, part, three of Pentacles. A lot of cats. A lot of pussy cats here. Yep. A lot of pussy cats here. Mm. And then we got a Ten of Cups. A happy family. So somebody had a family that they manifested out of the situation. Page of Pentacles. Three of Swords. The heartbreak. Over this ram over this mini mask. This person wears under the manifestation. Mm. Under the tender embrace with the three of cups, three of cups, three of pentacles, and three of swords. So three, three, three is in this energy. Ace of cups, cup runs over though. Eight of cups, walking away, walking away, but your cup is running over. So he'd rather walk away from the relationship than to work it out. Because he's suctioned to something with the suction of the um, octopus here. It's, he, so his cup runneth over. And he'd rather walk away from this cup that's overflowing. One cup that's overflowing. Even though this is the ace of cups. It's running over with everything that he might want. But it come with, a, with, a, with you know. If this thing gets you underwater. How long you think this thing going to keep you underwater suction to you? A uh, octopus. How how you gonna get out if every time you pull it apart, it suction right back to you? How how you gonna get rid of a woman that's like that to you? Very clingy. Very every time you try to get rid of her, she offers you something else, and so you like got to stick to her. It's kind of like that car situation I just told you. So like, is that kind of like I'm making you stick to me when I'm I put such a dangly big dangly carrot in front of your face like a uh, uh 2021 audi uh eight uh q q8 in your face you know what i mean i want to walk away but when you dangle that kind of um material gain in my face could i can i walk away i'm stuck in this world with you. I'm stuck in this world with you, right? With the sly fox. So I got to figure out another way to be sly, okay? With the cup running over. Okay? We ain't going to always be in a pandemic. We ain't going to always be here. So listen, for all of y'all that's, you know, that got closed minded since we had a pandemic, outside is still going on. Everyday hustles has not stopped. They didn't have a pandemic on in the street hustle okay they did not have it the world might have was inside the house but the street life never changed okay <laughs> for those that didn't get the memo the street life never changed yeah they closed the bar we just went to the bar earlier and got drunk okay they said only had five people well you bring a man and i'll bring a man we got an orgy okay you switch then we just like we went to the bar Okay, it seemed like a lot of people. <laughs> you got you got to understand the mind of warpness, warp mindedness. Okay, their minds are so fried they don't know what day it is. 
And it might be, you know, just because they choose not to see truth or see vision or see wisdom or see what they need to see. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's not, it don't come effortless like a waterfall overflowing. These things are like karma DNA for, for folks under the lost in space and wearing a mini mask. That's karma. Karma comes back when you do stuff. And we just had that 11-11 portal. Oh my God, that's an activated everything. Okay, and we're still in the retrograde of Uranus all the way until January 2022. 20, like the 19th though, I mean, it's like in a cut like two months, but still it's real long, okay? We got moons coming in left and right, eclipses great show up. Powerful energy, okay? Real powerful. You might just say day to day, oh yeah, that was eclipse. Yeah, lunar eclipse. Yeah, but that's powerfulness. Set your intentions before it comes. That's why we're having these messages out. You know, you hear a lot of a lot of people's talking, you know? A lot of people's talking. But if you don't listen to tarot, you won't hear the message. Okay? You won't mess, you won't hear the call. Some people hear it, you know, in a different way. But if you are a person that's low vibe and they told you in one of them you had to be 4D and above in some instance. Okay, some distances you have to be 4D and above. Anything lower than 4D, you won't be able to hear things that you're supposed to hear in frequency. Okay, you know what I mean? So you can't keep yourself so vi low vibing that you can't hear the call when the call is made. Right? You want to make sure you're there when they do roll call. Even if you sleep, you won't be able to hear it. These third wall, we're going to hit a brick wall here in these energies. Okay, brick wall. Somebody wants to be a hustler here in this energy with this distorted feminine. She wants to hustle men. Okay. The art of a hustler. This might be a Pisces, like I said, February 19th to March 20th. Cheat, drink, and still shrink. This is the and lands in under a hot air balloon. This is somebody's ego. Can't skip. A big effort. Somebody likes to try to do a big skip. Skip, skip parts, like 101 for dummies, like type of stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. We can't control what happens, but we can control if we wake up in the morning and we can say, I'm going to be who I want to be today. Goals and keep moving. Because you ain't getting no, excuse me, you ain't getting no younger. You know, we can't regress in age. You know, we can't regress in age. I mean, wish we wish could could go to a time machine and, you know, Re rewind the clocks or we wind to get a fountain of youth you know for crow's feet or frown lines or smile lines or whatever the case may be moles or you know saggy skin and all types of things cellulites and all different types of things that happen that gravitation of being you know here <laughs> does okay even if you exercise no it could be feet fit and eat right. Something else will show up. You know what I mean? We don't wish it, but at the same time, we to handle it as it come. How are you? So this was over here where we was looking for that soulmate. This is how we got to fix things, okay, in this energy. Fixing ourselves. We can't fix nobody, nothing about nobody. We got to go to self. Find it in self. If you got to heal something, love all. Heal yourself first. And this is a, in this couple, this is a, a two same-sex lovers. We can't run to the same sex lover because we got hurt from a um, heterosexual love in a relationship. It doesn't work that way, guys. It doesn't work that way. You know, just to have somebody to say I'm in their life. Like, it does not work like that. Pick and choose sides like that. It doesn't. Oh, well, the day I'm not, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not doing well with men. I've gotten children. I don't want to move forward now. And now I want to have a, all love. No. Okay, no, okay, like, you just see what it came under DNA karma, like, oh my gosh, these are the things y'all manifest in, oh, well, I just go to a woman, if I can't have a man, I'll have a woman, like, does it really, 
Is it really it's that hard to work on self? You avoid self that much to, you know, instead of cleaning your shit or cleaning up your shit or cleaning up your act. Can't stop, won't stop. S-H-I-T. Do. This is do. So now we got in this in this in this corner we got Sierra and Russell. Oh, uh, what is his name? Not even his name, but his name his, his last name is Russell, right? Whatever his last name is. Sierra. That's Sierra. And in that corner, you have the same sex lovers. Okay? All love. Man and woman, same sex. And that could be two men, two women, whatever. But if this don't work out, I'm going to go to this. That's the manifestations y'all making. Manifestations. Instead of working on self, these are experiencing. These are the things that you're experiencing. We're experiencing here. Experiencing. What are they saying? Experiencing. Turning in. And beyond illusions. And then this is how you celebrate. With two women or three women. Third parties. Then you get in that relationship and find out that they cheat too. They cheat even worse. Especially if you get... One of those types. I can't. I don't really want labels because you know people get real offended when it comes down to labels. But the ones that's like masculine in the energy, where they wear men's clothes, they wear men's haircuts, they wear that type of stuff. They are the masculine energy, okay, in the energy, and it could be a feminine or a mask or you know, woman or man is <laughs> is what they're telling me. But she comes in a masculine energy. Wears men's clothes. Okay. That's their vision of a man now. <laughs> My God. These are the things they manifested. Outsider. Then now you is the outsider. Okay. Outsider and adventure. These are the adventures that you take. Aloha. You want to go with girls or be with girls or. That's how you figure you're going to balance it at. Balance it. Balancing. Dancing on one foot. Balancing that. That's action, though. That's that's still showing me wands. But it's like a wounded, wounded balance. Like, I either go here or I go there. It's like a wounded balance to me right now in this energy. The ways, what it's around with manifestation and the things that you manifested. And one, and it's telling me DNA karma. It's like it was embedded somewhere in the in your bloodline to do this. You know, yeah, it might have back in the day. They, they had all kinds of different things. You know, they talked about it. They didn't talk about it. But at the same time, this going to still be a heartbreak, though. You know, no matter if you don't work on yourself, you it's still going to be heartbreak. No matter how we look at it. Ace of Swords. You know, you're putting up your stories to peace, speak your truth. But you spoke your truth with the moon right behind it, though. That's the moon howling at the moon or with the wolf. You know, these are the worlds. Ten of burdens, ten of wands, burdens, seven of wands, blocking things out, and then till it's gonna be a till it's gonna be a death. The high priestess at the end of the deck, right there, high priestess under the under the raven. It's gonna be a death to this. It's so cutting. And it's so wrong. And then you feel in a certain way when they do it to you too. Then you're going to really feel like worthless. You're going to be like, even a woman did it to me too. Like it's it's going to really wound you really bad here in this energy. This is the brick wall. This is the wall of obstacles. See, this is where it, one, one obstacle goes to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. You know, and this is you trying to tidy up your house instead of Cleaning up all this stuff here. Clean up your inside of you in your head. Like, stay out of there sometimes. You know, work around maybe your head sometimes. And stay out of there with overthinking, really. Stay out of your head. with over <laughs> Definitely with overthinking. Okay? That's what it's talking about, guys. But then when it, when it really comes down to it, okay, let's, 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 cause it's showing me something else, dancing on one foot. So the love and I don't love, I, I love and I don't love. 
is what they're telling me with the BDSM here, with your bra here. It's like, you know, if you think you've got what it takes. So if the woman is saying in this energy, if you think you got what it takes, a man or a woman, um, to handle me, whatever that means in you, whatever handle you me who am i kidding yeah like i want to i'm about to go to a whole drawn out thing and it's like yeah who are you kidding yeah definitely who are you kidding like you know handling a woman handling a man i don't know what we're talking about but this is where we gone with this this is how far we done came down the end of the road with this to so you want to be with a distorted person? And, and, and they're telling me it's not just one person now. They're saying it's not just one person. This person is not the only one. They're exaggerating if they say it's just one. With the you, things you shouldn't exaggerate. They said this is something that they... That, this is not just one woman is doing this. Because I got too many people here. You know, they want to build a house with each other. They had a house, a stable environment. But it's like fish. Here. Fish. A fish bowl. Fish stays in a fish bowl. Okay? He can only go around and around in his fish bowl. But when you got something that could go, like, or it is what it is, like a higher view with your ego here, you could see, you could soar, you could go on. But the fish, he's still stuck in his fish bowl. He don't got too much privacy because every time you look, you looking in there to see if he all right. You get his water get too cloudy. It's it now his water's too dirty. Now you got to change it. So what would a fish say? He was his place was too small. It was too dirty, and he ain't had no privacy. What well, a fish would say? Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Cheat, drink, and still shrink. So you want to be. So you want to be a shapeshifter. You want to tame a beast. Now you want to entertain a woman. Because I love what I don't love. And then you're saying, who am I kidding? Well, I don't know. You ain't kidding me because I just, you just shut me down when it came to what was going on here. And I just told you that they said it was the seven of wands carrying a heavy burden and it was the death. And these are the walls that you coming to. The walls that, you know, you straddling between worlds here. Straddling between worlds, wandering between realms. Sleep realm and paralysis and epiphanies and wrong thinking and delusion and fantasy and perversion and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what does they talk about here Diana all these studs sewn on my uh, sewn on by hand, one by one, stuffed, bats, chains, and lace signed by Diana Death. So this is death. Like this is not a, like I'm really starting to understand something here in this energy. I see a lot of women do it, but I wasn't understanding, and it was really hard for me to understand because I'm not from that world. But I see now through tarot, they're going to show me a bigger and a broader perspective of a lot of things that I didn't, you know, see before. And through tarot, I see it, you know, through these messages, you know, because that's not the lifestyle I live. Um, So, you know, it doesn't relate. You know, when I see it on these cards, I be like, wow. And you guys verify and be like, show sure is, girl. Show sure is. My DMs, my dang on emails. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I read all of y'all messages. Even when it don't relate to you. Even when it confuses you. Even when it sounds strange to you. Even if it's like mumble jumbo. You, you guys know. like. So we got the still snap out here. 
We still got the death. And we still got the queen of wands out here. So she's really doing magic and spells. Practice here. Some kind of practice. Some kind of bonding. Some kind of seductress. In this energy. Okay. And this, and this is the villains in this energy here in my hand. Villains. I right, was talking about that house. Alright. Knight of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Cutting it off. Cutting out. With this masculine or feminine. This could be a feminine. Two feminines. Okay. Two feminines. Yeah. This is the High Priestess. She knows. You know. You know I know. And they want me to specifically say, yeah, with her hair, two different colors, it could be two different kind of lovers. Two lovers the same, two lovers different. Okay? Same sex, heterosex. Yeah. Ursa says she out here. Y'all know what's up. <laughs> Y'all know what's up. Magician at the bottom of the deck. And then we got the world. The world was three times in this energy. Okay? So this is like six different folks in here. Six, three, three, three. Three X's, three X's, and three strangers. So six X's and three strangers. If that makes sense to somebody, you might be juggling a couple of people, two from your past, and your partner might be really messing with somebody from their past. But they recent past though. That somebody keep going back to. Because Manefolence is here. So she's like. She knows everything. And she's a, is a villain. So you know she know. And she wicked with it. So. And then we got her over here. So she really use a magic twice. So these, this, this over here. So whatever you thought was going to be with the masculine over here when you was trying to hustle, you did it with a feminine. And the feminine is like, because it's two feminines here, right here. The chariot and the high priestess, two major arcanas, right back to back. She's driving off. She's sitting there with her magic and her, and her crow. Okay. Things you exaggerate. Spells, magic, whatever. Page of Wands, a little bit of passion. Trust, this ain't no trust, this confidence. Lack thereof confidence. Because she got to get validated through others. Okay? Through others. With the deer, with the cow. No, that's a deer. That's a buck. Knock if you buck. Shorty want to ride with me with young buck. Getting a couple, couple bucks in this energy. Nuck if you buck. And uh, young buck. Shorty want to ride with me. Ride with me. We can get low. Mm, mm, mm. Fo, fo. Mm. I don't know, y'all. But that's what they talk about. All right. Let me see. And then I'm going to say. The Garden of Venus. The Rest and Rejuvenate. Let's see here, y'all. Some change is coming under the higher view. You're going to have to see something a little different. You're going to have to get some more wisdom. This is a risk you're going to take here as well. So there might be some blessings here. But when the blessings came in, you said you had to use some talent to get them blessings. And then this is the trust. But the trust was right here on top. So they definitely want you to know that you can't trust this person twice. You can't trust these two types. You have to work on self. I'm sorry, like in this leadership, I mean, you know, being leader, I wouldn't steer you wrong in leadership. You know, like you have to kill you to go to the root cause of a situation to find out why. If this one's not going to make you happy, that one's not going to make you happy. What are you really searching for? Are you looking for status in, 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 in social life, in your social life? Are you looking for, you know, um, what are you looking for? What do you want? You're just taking risk after risk and losing your power all the while. Like, this is your power you're releasing to others. Okay? This is your power you're releasing to others to 
to to to block your blessing. Yeah, you'll say, yeah, I'm successful already. But down the road, down the road and to the bank. While I'm here, I'd like to thank mom and dad. They knew the time. So somebody might need to know the time, what time it is. Like under wisdom, ace of swords, speaking up. This is about, this is the next chapter, you guys. This is the um, four discs. Like, we're holding on way too tight. With men, the princess of cups, different women, the moon, high and secrets. This is the devil under the trust. You can't trust the devil. Okay? This is the hermit. Go somewhere and sit down and rest and heal yourself. Make some different decisions. This is the teacher to teach you a lesson, to teach you a testimony, to teach you to show you something of something to get out of it. It ain't just here for no reason. There isn't no by chances or, or coincidences. There is not. It's a, it's a cause for every effect in life. There is. Okay? Under the two of swords, there is a lesson under being reason why. This is more messages. Okay? More shooting at uh, was stifling you you know ace of cups running over i told you his cup was running over for what he was suction to this situation this woman this thing this such a, whatever it is it could be a toxic very 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 toxic to each other okay where they tear each other's clothes at the moment sight of each other like it's he could be wanting to be with somebody else but when somebody dangles success and wealth in your face and you don't have the same success and wealth, it changes the relationship, I'm telling you. Where you would want to leave, you're going to stay because of, you know, what do they call it? Financial differences or incompatibilities. Okay, so this is what this is, you know, financial incompatibilities. Okay, and this is what it talks about. And this is what your angels wanted you to know today about different folks, different things, different things for different folks. Right. And this is the six of cups. It might be nostalgic. The love might have was good at first, but then things just had a way of going to the left. It's showing me a flower here. It's showing me lilies here and its energy. But it also showing me the six of cups, waters being poured over them and pouring out of them. And, you know, it's been very emotional here in this energy. Okay. Another right underneath that is the two of swords. Two of swords. Just teaching the lessons. Yeah, it was nostalgic. But it was enough to keep me there with this two of swords here. It was not enough to keep me there. I'm wearing armor. I'm of two minds here. Two different horses. Two different types of style. A horse. One's a Clydesdale. And one's just a, a Galvet horse. Okay, nine of uh this, nine of nine abundance. I wanted something out of it. I need something from you. You have success, and I need the 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 limelight that comes from that. I need that, but it's a death though. Like every time we go to something that could possibly be so like good, then it go right to the death again. Like. If you can't see this message, like, uh, and I just want to keep plucking cards just so you can see. And then the angels come by. Oh, we told you so. You know, <laughs> the devil, the teacher, the trust. You can't trust this. The moon, the, the cup, princess of cups, another woman blocking your blessings, a man taking risks. Then we got the four of, of pentacles holding on way, 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 way too tight uh, over the ace of swords speaking up. Then when you speak up, they, 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 they. they they did, they, because you said something like, I'm really not feeling the way I was. Because they only liked you to be a certain way, happy, uh, positive, and then something that they could make you confused with and something else. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't want you to be where you had a difference in opinion. Okay. They didn't want you to have a difference of opinion now. This, I took this adventure. I want. I said I'd marry you, but but for the for for what came with it, King of Cups and Nine of Cups, the hope for the wish, along with the Knight 
of swords. I'm still going to be wearing my armor, though. I'm still going to be being protected. Because if it don't go my way under the A, I don't want blinded to the truth. And when you re realize the truth, I'm going to be out when you realize the truth. Because I'm hanging out with the devil. Four of swords. Resting and retreating. Until you figure it out. Until you figure out that I'm only here for... um. You know, for the limelight. I'm only here for the limelight. I wasn't never, and it's going to be a ten of swords. I'm going to go back to the community, and I'm going to talk about you like a dog. I'm going to wound you. I'm going to tell you you never was that, and I pulled you. And, you know, it's just going to get messy. I don't know whose message this is, but it's talking specifically to someone specific today. I don't know who, because this is telling me that the person is really going to go back and talk real ill about you. Okay? The one that you put as your star. And it was against the grain. Like they say in marriage. They say in you, you know. Whatever this distorted person. That's you know. They, and then they switched it. Like at the end. Like they just switched. This person didn't have no goals. And they, you know what I mean. They switched it on me. And then they said seeing from your higher view. You got to see this through. Star. And the star came out up there already. Ten of Cups. This is so they can surrender. You're going to surrender though first before they do. Because they're going to steal your power first. Before you're going to be wounded. And I don't mean to be like that. But you, it's, this is going to cut deep. Because of the um, expectations you put on it. In the energy. This is what they're talking about. The trust that you put in this person. The 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 the, the, the they don't know they owe you no loyalty, but you thought they owed you loyalty, but they don't owe you no loyalty here. It, it, they you uh it's called uh cut cutting across the grain of yeah, this y'all dated and you thought they and they was very chivalrous. It's a man and a woman. He's serenading you, bringing you stuff. But it don't have to be a, a man doing this. It could be a woman doing this. Yeah. Somebody who had to put boundaries up or you should have put boundaries up. Or you couldn't see through their boundaries. Or you couldn't see that they had boundaries. <laughs> like I said, it could be somebody in the life. Okay? It could be somebody definitely in the life. This is your self-respect. Okay? Stop while you got your self-respect. Don't let this person degrade you all the way down to you don't have no dignity. Because this one could get real gutter on you. Is what they telling me. With the Ten of Swords. This is the inner peace. Save yourself so you can have inner peace. Because the best friend you got, she didn't know. But she gonna know now. This is what it's telling me. You gonna cry a river to this best friend. Peace. Resolving conflict. Because it's already starting. Whatever it is. Well, it's been going. It's been happening. Okay? It's been happening. Garden. Back to that. Talking about the garden of eating again. Okay? Talk about the garden of eating again. You can eat from this garden, but don't eat from that garden. The promise. That's what they told me to say. And if you are liking the take and the stop, the um, ask any and maybe old things you shouldn't exaggerate. <laughs> financial incompatibilities may you subscribe like share hit that bell notification along with the thumbs up as well as if you would like to get your own personal reading with me miss shine like 7 tv at gmail.com namaste now I must go